Buckle yourselves in, everybody. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge is joining us from the sideline. A lot of teams with a lot of new players, Greg, this time of year can be a real challenge to mesh. No doubt. You know, getting everybody on the same page sometimes, it, it can take time. And then you have to build that trust. Weathering the storms together will obviously help you do that. Looking at the starting five for the Atlanta Hawks. Hunter at the three with Collins at the four. Edwards is out there with Trey Young. And it's Capella in at the five. Here's Melton. There's the pass to Okoro. This is to Dudley. The shot misses. Here's Atlanta. Young right side. Done with some nice D. This is the shot you want right at the rim. He just couldn't deliver. Edwards passes to Hunter. Down to five on the shot clock. From deep three-point range, Atlanta gets it back. Collins kicks to Edwards. The Hawks working the ball around. And here's Young from the arc. Again, Young missing. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Melton passes to Okoro. That one goes. Count it. And the combination of his quickness and soft touch around the rim really allows him to pull off shots like that. A lot of players don't have the reverse in their arsenal. To the paint. Oh, here's Edwards. Defense is right there, and it doesn't even draw iron. Just a little off to start this game. One for five, looking to find some kind of rhythm. Capella against Dudley. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Yeah, easy call. Kansas City shooting their first free throws of the evening. Dudley. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And they now lead as the free throw drops for him. He hits both from the strike. Edwards with it. Passes it to Hunter. Outside Collins. Young against Dunn. Beyond the arc. And Trey Young hits from deep. Young's got five now. When you have a slick ball handler like Trey Young, you can run pick and roll as much as you like. And the second season for Trey Young, just unreal. Pulling off amazing performances at such a young age. Uh, Greg, just how good do you think he can be? You know, Kevin, Young will be viewed as a top point guard in this league for a long time. When it's all said and done, might be one of the best point guards in league history. Certainly is on his way to being one of the best shooters to ever play. Keeping that play alive. Anytime a shot goes up, Collins is going to compete for it. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Well, guys, I did speak with the Knights head coach, and he was quick to point out the danger Trey Young poses not just as a scorer, but as a distributor. His quote was, his skill as a passer is overlooked, but we're not going to lose sight of that. We have to make him play the game on our terms. He can't be dictating the pace. So they're going to try to keep Young under control, Kevin. Back to you. Thank you, David. Defense doesn't get much better than the mobile one block we just saw on replay. Some intimidation right away. Got to show those shooters you're going to be there all night long. Now, here is Young. He's got five. Another miss by Young. I mean, he's staying aggressive, trying to regain his touch. But right now, he's hurting the team. 
Dunn looking over the floor. Pass to Silva. Six on the shot clock. Dunn outside. Over Young. Dunn misses. Empty possession, and you don't want to miss these easy looks. And it's tonight. And as it goes out of bounds, Atlanta able to keep the ball here. On defense, the Knights, they trail by one. Collins passes to Hunter. And stolen by Dunn. Rebounded by the Hawks. Now Young got a piece of it. And it's done in the corner. A three-pointer off the mark. And so Young will bring it up for the Hawks. Last game matchup with the Suns, a, a tough loss there. Yeah, in that one, the shot selection wasn't terrible, but they had to tighten it up. It did not happen. They never really got into a rhythm, despite trying a few different things. Sometimes, it's just not your night. Here's Dunn, following the basket by Trey Young. And Kansas City decides to take their first time out here. And the amount of pressure that Trey Young puts on a defense is staggering. He's either carving you up with his passing or hitting you with that jump shot. You know, G.A. Trey Young is the type of player that can lead this league in scoring and in assists, and also possibly could do it in the same season. For a youngster, he sees a lot of double teams. It's impressive how he handles it. Defends the Hawks. Three point lead. Dunn outside. And Dudley kicks to a car roll. Just five on the clock. Can they get it? He lays it in. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. Young taking his time here. And he uses the glass on the layup. Young's got nine points. The ability of Trey Young to take it up inside makes him difficult to pressure out on the perimeter. Pass to Melton. Nice ball movement by Kansas City. And Capella sends it back. Opponents have to be careful when Capella is in the area. What an impressive display of timing. Given the size disadvantage, you have to have a lot of confidence to take that shot. And also a lot of skill. This is exactly the type of thing you practice for over and over again. Dunn shots, good. Strength, focus, hard head approach. Chris Dunn powering through contact. Young dishes to Capella. Fires for three, and it's Young. That time on the assist from Capella. Young's got a couple of threes now in the first with the Hawks. A pass to Melton. Done outside. Passes it to Melton. Tipped away. Takes a three. It's hauled in by Edwards. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. Collins kicks to Edwards. Here's Capella, and the dunk by Capella. Just has a nose for the ball. Capella skilled at gaining ideal position for those offensive rebounds. Back to Dunn. Takes it from 10. A shot off that time. 
and Atlanta will come the other way. Hunter, the pass to Young. Now the dish to Edwards. Packs in, coming off the assist from Young. And now a 10-point Hawks lead. And defensively, they are on their heels time out, time every out. time the ball comes inside. And the Knights call time here. And Smitty, if I'm coaching DeAndre Hunter, I'm making him watch nothing but tape of Kawhi Leonard. He has that type of body and can aim to be that kind of player. Yeah, I totally agree. Both were lauded as mostly defensive players as rookies. Hunter showed he has some shiftiness to his game offensively. I think he has the chance to be on the same level at the end of the day as Kawhi Leonard. No harm in having that as a goal. of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. Now here's Anthony. Kicks to Moody. Count it. And the Hawks lead by 10. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Pass to Melton. Back to Dunn. Here's Silver. Melton passes to Dunn. Six to shoot. Puts up a three. Rebound Atlanta. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. And the pass to Moody. Now here's Anthony. Here's Silva. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. What I like is when Chris Dunn keeps his poise, keeps his eyes up, good things happen. Now, here's Moutier. Here's Hurt. Big shot on the way. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. And what a way to start this game, dominating at both ends of the floor. They came in prepared, focused, and really jumped on the other team early. The Hawks leading by eight. Orea, the pass to Anthony. Down to five on the shot clock. Jones. Yes, that goes in. Yeah, they, they have gone full throttle from the opening tip, showing no signs of letting up. Already ahead by double digits, trying to run away and not look back. Now, here's Dunn. Here's Silva. Takes a shot at the elbow, and another basket for Kansas City. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Now, here's Moutier. Passes to Carmelo. He's off from 17 feet. High percentage look for him. But bottom line, they're not all going to go down. Trey Young, he's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for Atlanta. That quarter had to take a lot out of him. He racked up 12 points. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. Ladies and gentlemen, dance team. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And when you consider how Atlanta is doing, your thoughts? Way to set the table. Offensively, they dominated 
on the interior. They came in looking to attack from the get-go, willing to be physical and setting the tone. Kansas City trails by eight. And now brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups on the court for the Knights. We've got a Coro, and it's done in at the point. You see what Dunn can do when he's playing under control. That's an excellent pass. Here's Moutier. The Knights making their last shot. Offensive rebound. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Yeah, just a solid job on the backboard. They are really controlling the inside. Last season, Damian Jones getting ample chances to show what he could do. Not a huge quantity guy, but, boy, he made the most of his touches. You know, Damian Jones, he makes about two-thirds of his shots for his career. He knows what it's about, and that's finishing at the rim. A bit of an old-school center in that regard. He lives at the rim on both ends. Here's Silva. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Outside Anthony. Nice bulb movement here by Atlanta. Clock at six. Back to Jones. Tries from ten. Unable to get that one. And Kansas City will go the other way with it. Okoro kicks to Dunn. Pass to Okoro. Dunn outside. And here is Okoro. Count that one. And we're a little over a minute and a half into the second quarter of action. Maria, the pass to Carmelo. Pulls it up. That one wide left. Kansas City trails by seven. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sidelines. Hey, thanks very much, Kevin. Clint Capella is a seven-footer in track shoes. He said, I always try to have that pace. Whenever I sprint, I have an impact on the offense. I try to focus on that and keep my energy up. Guys, guards love big men who run the floor as hard as Capella. Back to you. He is indeed, David. Very athletic. Thanks. Melton, no good. And, and gotta like what they've been doing down low in the post. Borea kicks to Jones. Now, here's Moutier. Tight defense on him. Atlanta again, missing. The defense is right there. Quality contest, and they threw him off his rhythm. Feeds it to Dudley. Five to shoot. Here's Dunn. Berea pulls it in. And so it's Berea with it. They'll bring it up for the Atlanta Hawks. They've led by as much as ten. From the baseline. And DeAnthony Melton picks up the foul. That's his first foul. Atlanta making some changes. Clint Capella, he's checked in for Jones. John Collins comes in for Emmanuel Moutier. And Trey Young subbed in for J.J. Barea. Atlanta leading by five. Herder passes to Collins. Anthony with it to end the cold streak. Here's Capella. Out to Anthony. To the middle. Here's Young. That's in there. Anthony with the assist. Anthony's got his third assist on the night. And boy, he's really in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Same thing this time out. Here's the thing. He's a guy who will go on hot streaks for you over a number of games. A good job by him on the glass here tonight. Plus eight in that department. Can you believe it? He's missed every shot he's taken. Yet this team still continues to hold the lead. Pass to Melton. And here is a core roll. Now the pass to Dudley. Over to the left wing. And Kansas City misses again. The Hawks leading by seven. Here's Herder. Yeah. 
And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. You can see Kevin Hurd has been working on this, taking contact and completing the play. And Kevin Herter, a young player and a big part of this team's future. He keeps trying to add to his game. And the area I love that he's improved, I think the most and needs to, is his ball handling. Doesn't have to only look for shots outside. He can attack the rim. He also is more willing to take the lead and transition and create for others. With size in the backcourt, it's such an advantage. Kevin Herter is 6'6 with a long frame. And Dudley kicks to a coral. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. You know, Greg, Isaac Okoro, a game changer with his energy, with his effort, he gives you 100% on both ends. I mean, a standout defender who's very disruptive. He's still polishing his skills offensively, Two still shots. working on that three-point shot, but you love his athleticism, especially in transition. That's good from Okoro. Greg is a point guard. You must have had so much fun being surrounded by so much terrific talent at UNLV. You know, Larry Johnson, Stacy Augman, I mean, I could go on and on. And you're right. I was blessed to play alongside these guys. They were incredible talents, finishers. And, you know, you don't always appreciate it going through that moment. But the sure. fact that we're all still close and stay in contact. Uh, man, what an awesome experience to be a part of that team. Chemistry must have been off the charts on that team. It was, and, and we had a lot of personalities, man. It was a different era back then. Uh, but I tell you, again, I wouldn't trade that experience for anything. And the Knights call time here. And for a long time, Atlanta has been searching for a legitimate center. Seems like they found their guy in Clint Capella. Yes, and Clint Capella is limited offensively, but that's not his job. What Clint Capella does do, he does very well. He's a terrific rebounder, and he will have a lot of room to finish at the rim, as he does with power. And so Kansas City now. It's a 10-point game. Young against Dunn. Three-pointer. A three-pointer is right on target. Dunn's got five points now in the quarter. Welcome sight for this team. When Dunn's hitting from distance, this offense really opens up. Here's Young. Good for basket number seven tonight on a not-so-unlucky 13 shots. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. Now here's Dunn. He's got seven. Okoro passes to Dudley. Six on the shot clock. And Capella over to help. Dunn right open. He fires. No good on the triple. I can see he's pressing a little now, trying desperately to help them shrink this deficit. Hunter with it. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. And it's Melton with the rebound. He kicks to Okoro. Passes it to Dunn. Two points. That one goes. Dunn's got nine points. Challenging the heart of the defense, Dunn will break you down if you don't stay connected to him. And here's Young from the arc. Yes, indeed, it is good. He's now 8 for 14. There it is. His first make from beyond the arc in the second quarter. His third of the game. Dunn passes to Melton. Back to Dunn. To the wing on the left. Poke loose. It's stolen by Edwards. And they're on the break. to Collins. Now Young from the arc. But they recover it. Second shot opportunity. And Capella with a nice bucket inside. Capella's got the lead up to 12 now for the Hawks. Pass to Melton. Here's Okoro. The pass to Melton. And here is Dudley. Capella covering. 
just four to shoot. Here's Melton. Up three off the mark. Atlanta leading by 12. Now the feed to Young. Count that one. Young's got nine points in the quarter. Throughout the evening, he's gotten to his spots, and the defense has not adjusted. Pass to Melton. Down against Young. Now Okoro. He's got eight. Can they get it? Dunn misses. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. The shot's good. Young's got 23. Oh, great ball movement there. Kansas City trails by 16. Dunn outside. Nice ball movement by Kansas City. Collins grabs the miss. Collins has got his sixth rebound on the night. Young against Dunn. And it goes down two points. He's got 25. It's impressive. The level of domination at both ends. And you're seeing the results. Especially considering it's on the road in front of a tough crowd. They've been able to block out the distractions. Now, here's Dunn. Nine points in the game so far. Good work defensively by Capella. All the energy is on the other side right now, and every miss just makes it worse. You know what? This has always been a debate. Do you take the time out, or do you let your guys try to fight through it? Now, here's Hunter. 18 points separating the teams. That's the biggest lead of the game. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Here's Silver. No points in the game yet for him. Count the basket. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Young dishes to Hunter. Collins looking around to the right side. And it's Capella missing. And here's Dunn. He'll bring it up for Kansas City. They trail by 16. Melton passes to Dudley. Dunn. Nice pass. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Dunn's got nine points now in the quarter. The shot and game clock separated by four. Let's it go with a three. Edwards can't hit. And so Kansas City now. In the corner, Okoro with it. the role of Capella to come out play that strong defense and alter as many shots as possible and so it's Atlanta with a 14 point lead as we bring the quarter to a close and their ability to get points in the paint has made all the difference in this one and we've got more NBA action on 2k sports coming your way after this break the 2k sports halftime show Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and the Jet. Kenny Smith, let's get to it. We saw Trey Young lighting it up in the first half. He had 25 points, two assists, and a star in his role. Clint Capella makes an impact with his defense and rebounding, doesn't he, Shaq? Uh, yeah, it's not a star, Ernie, but he's very athletic. Very athletic a Yo, star in his role. He, he will, that, you're right, you make a good point. And he will run you ragged in transition. I would have loved to see a guy like this. Go like up and down. Who's he from? I'm not sure what Clint's from, but I know that he's from run baseline to baseline, and he might have got you tired, big fella. <laughs> and that's a wrap with the third quarter approaching we now send you back to Kevin and the crew Ladies and, gentlemen, dance team. and as we dive into the second half we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two so far it has been a runaway it's been one outstanding game from Trey Young. 
And, and the bulk of his damage so far has come from the perimeter. A lot of threes early on. He's been vital to spacing the floor for them. Makes everything else you want to do easier to accomplish. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. And so in the game for the Hawks, Hunter at the three with Collins at the four. Trey Young is out there with Edwards, and it's Capella in at the center position. Greg, 11 years for you in the NBA, you had to have some favorite players that you played besides and with. You know, it's a great call, and, and there were a ton of them. Uh, a, a few guys, though, will say so Gary Payton. I got a, to, a chance to play with Gary for a year and have known him. We, we, we used to go at it in high school, and, and it's really about his personality. This is a guy that constant chatter, practice on the court. That's what fed his confidence. Charles Oakley, uh, another guy, he, he would run through a wall or through you to win a game. And then Scotty Pippen later in my career, just a winner and somebody who I competed against for many years, but didn't have any opportunity to play with up close. Uh, I got a, a greater appreciation for his skill set. Oh, three throws good from Dudley. Atlanta leading by 12. Now here is Young. Pass to Edwards. And here is Hunter. This one for three. Rebounded by Kansas City. Silva's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Dunn passes to Silva. Nice ball movement by Kansas City. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. For Kansas City, they have made all of their free throws so far tonight, going six for six. Two shots. good on the free throw he hits the second from the line the Hawks leading by 11 out left to the wing. Collins dishes to Capella. Rebounded by Dudley. Dudley's got six rebounds in the game to the left side wing. Here's Melton. And with that one, the lead is trimmed to single digits. Melton's got his second bucket tonight. This is what the analytics prefer. Shots at the rim, four from three. Here's Capella. That one good for two. Capella's got eight. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. And last season for Capella wasn't that easy. Had his year cut short to injury. Never got the chance to suit up with his new team in the Hawks. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high percentage looks from inside. Young's shot is good. This kid knows when to shoot, when to drive, and when to kick. Trey Young has been out of this world tonight. I'm called here. Kansas City decides to talk it over. And with Capella and the Hawks, both are excited for this season. And on paper, Capella seems like a great fit. Can finish inside, pairs well with John Collins and Trey Young, and Capella could be the difference maker to get this team back in the playoffs. Just about two minutes into the second half now. Has to a coro. 
Here's Melton. Inside. Here's Dunn. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. And they've had assists now on their last three baskets. Yeah, Chris Dunn, a part of that Zach Levine trade a few years ago. You know, you know, GA, what's interesting about Dunn is he actually played a lot of small forward last season. How about that? Drafted fifth overall back in 2016 as a point guard. He's only about 6'3", but very strong and has long arms and plays with great toughness. Just another example of how small ball is affecting every front court position. When you look at the balance of power between players and teams, Greg, does it feel like the players now have more say, more control than they used to? No doubt. Uh, we're seeing more players demand trades, sign shorter contracts with opt-outs. And the irony of that is, in my era, our best players were fearful for the length of their contracts mm. or, or the life expectancy of their career. And these guys today, they understand their value. Uh, they know what they bring to the table, and they are utilizing that to the max. And is that good, Greg, for the game? I think so. I, I, I do think most guys want to win, and they understand that their legacies are going to be defined about whether or not they do. Here is Edwards. Isaac Okoro picking up that last basket. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's on Anthony Edwards. And really the defense fouling there to the prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. It's his first trip to the line. Taking two shots. First free throw is good. And the Hawks making a change here. Anthony's checked in. Both shots good from the strike. The Hawks leading by six. To the paint. Here's Capella. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway. So a three-point play chance for him. And, and a great display of physicality from Capella. He's not one to shy away from contact. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And, and you know, you'll take what he can give you from the free throw line. Looking at his numbers, just really not way. one of his strengths. That's shooting shot. in the low 60s last season. That's good from Capella. And the defense Capella provides is huge. I mean, a legitimate shot-blocking threat who also rebounds the ball at an efficient rate. Now, here's Okoro. Ten points for him. Anthony on the double team. Dudley the pass to Silva. Here's Okoro. Kicks to Dudley. Done outside. Off target from outside. And hard work on the glass. Once again, guys, they put a lot of effort and focus on the backboard. And it's put back up and in by Capella. And such an advantage when you have a big guy like Capella who can change ends like a guard. The pass to Okoro. Done up top. Five on the clock. And Kansas City misses again. Woo, that's just a case of bad defense and even worse offense. On its way from Young for two. Rebounded by Kansas City. A decent amount of time left as they try to find a way back into it. Yeah, but it will be soon if they don't start cutting into this deficit. Great job executing the offense. That pass on time and on point. Now, here is Young. 27 points for him. And it's blocked. And they'll keep possession. And Anthony gets it to go. Second chance points have really been an issue here defensively. Passes to Melton. Acoro with it. Pass to Melton. The Hawks leading by 11. Anthony in the corner. 
And some very quick points for him on that possession. Nice look from Kevin. Intelligent and unselfish. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. For Kansas City, they have shot 10 of 11 at the line. Nice work so far for them. Two shots. And he makes the first. Jones checked in for the Hawks. Moutier comes in for Trey Young. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Here's Moutier. Pass to Capella. Dishes to Moutier. Capella trying to free himself up. And the layup's good off the glass. And the Hawks lead by 13. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. To the inside. And there's Dunn on the assist from Okoro. Dunn's got 16 points. That's a well-timed, well-coordinated play. Comes right off the pick for the lay-in. Capella finds Anthony. Again, the Hawks good for two. And the shooting form of Anthony, just perfect. He's dangerous with the catch and shoot and just terrific at scoring when in rhythm. Here's Melton. He's got eight. And there's the pass to Silva. Dunn outside. Good work defensively by Capella. The Hawks leading by 13. Moutier, pass to Herter. He kicks it to Capella. Down low. Here's Moutier. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Man, just adding insult to injury. He just waltzes inside and extends this lead. A uncontested shot at the rim. You have to compete at all times. J.J. Barea's checked in for Atlanta. A free throw good from Moutier. And the thing that stood out for me last year about Moutier, his shot selection was much improved. It was, G.A., a clear high from the field. He was solid also from three. Still, he needs to clean up that turnover category. But we have to remember, he is still very young, despite how long we've been talking about him. Done shots, good. Great defense, great contest. You have to live with the results because Chris Dunn's a crafty scorer inside. Passes it to Jones. The drive by Anthony. They get it back. Misses from close range. Kansas City trails by 14 to the left wing. Melton off the mark there with the three-point shot. Morea, the pass to Anthony. Here's what the Atlanta Hawks have lined up on their schedule. On Sunday, they'll go up against Chris Stapps, Porzingis, and the Dallas Mavericks. Then on Tuesday, they'll be matching up against Rudy Gobert and the Utah Jazz. This is his first chance at the line tonight. You know, this is not an area where they expect him to contribute. You know, he's a guy that shot below 70% last season. Two shots. That's good from Anthony. So Anthony nails both of them. Money from the stripe. He does a great job night in and night out. Pass to Melton. Now here's Okoro. Gets the three-pointer to fall. 
Okoro's got five points now in the quarter. And this team's struggles are not his fault. He's putting in work at the offensive end. The drive by Anthony, and it's blocked. Pass to Melton. Here's the teardrop, and he lays it up and in. Melton's got 10 points. Man, I'll tell you, when you get your floater game going, it's a tremendous weapon. Here's Moutier, and the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. A little artistry in the painted area, converting against the size. Proving once again that when you attack with confidence, good things tend to happen. And the Hawks making a change here. Hunter's checked in. A free throw good from Moutier. And still trying to find his footing in the league. Moutier must show improvement in his shooting moving forward. Now here's Okoro. 13 points in the game. Melton's shot is good. High percentage look. This is what your offense is designed to do. Here is Berea. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. It's Jones on the wing. For the three. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Hawks will retain possession. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. And that'll give them a jolt. Nothing like a rejection to light a fire under you. Two seconds left. A nice shot by Berea. The defense late to react. A beautiful play we just saw. Done outside. The pass to Okoro. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Okoro's got 15 points. Feeling it. No doubt about it. He's definitely feeling it right now. Shooting a terrific percentage from the field. Moutier dishes to Jones, and here's Anthony for three. His struggles from the field continue, yet they still hold the lead. Okoro passes to Silva. Passes it to Melton. Shot clock at six. Rebounded by Anthony. And it's Anthony with the ball for the Hawks. Pulls up. He trains the quick shot. Anthony's got 10 points in just the second half. I don't know what coach told him at halftime, but he is shooting the lights out right now. Pass to Okoro. Dudley with it, defended by Jones. Dudley, no luck. The Hawks leading by 14. Berea dishes to Hunter. It's blocked. Just two seconds between shot clock and game. Melton, that's in, coming off an assist from Dunn. Dunn's got assist number five here tonight. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Berea with it. Pass to Anthony. Can't connect from 13 feet out. And so it's Atlanta enjoying a 12-point lead as they talk things over during the break. All around, it's hard to point to any one area where they haven't had the upper hand in this game. And we'll be right back after this. Here now a chance to show you our assist of the game, and it's presented as always by State Farm. Just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball, and how about the perfect delivery? Execution. This is what you practice every day. These guys are professionals, 
Beautiful play. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. They've got Dunn, and it's Okoro in at the small forward position. Edwards passes to Moutier. Hands it from downtown. Moutier's got the fourth quarter going with the first basket of the period here for the Hawks. Dunn outside. Okoro passes to Dunn. He dishes it to Okoro. Four on the shot clock. Over Edwards. Okoro shot is off. The Hawks leading by 15. Edwards kicks to Moody. Count the bucket. And he's got a free That's throw good. coming up as well. This is the consistency he was looking for in the first half. Just took him a while to heat up. One shot. And they're doing a better job of working themselves to the line here in the second half. Kansas City trails by 18. Dunn passes to Okoro. It's stolen by Edwards. And here we go. Fast break. Moutier's got it. Here's Collins. The basket's good off the assist from Moutier. Never one to shy away. Collins delivers as much contact as he receives. The pass to Okoro. Gray, compare the times when you played as an NBA player with a lot more contact and what was let go on the floor to what we're seeing now when there seem to be a lot of whistles, a lot of stoppage of play. I mean, there's no doubt about it. You, you know, you got to allow players to defend. And if they're in a legal guarding position, let them do their job. You know, eliminate the cheap ones. Part of the issue, though, partner, is now so much of the game is played on an island, right? You, yep. you don't have the crowds that you typically would see guys in back in our area. There's more space. The court, in essence, is bigger. Uh, you're out there kind of on your own, man. And these guys are crafty at drawing fouls. It's never been harder for a defender. Here's Melton following the basket by Emmanuel Moody. Dunn shots good. Outstanding entry pass there. He knew exactly where to go with the ball. Young pass to Hunter. From deep, Young's shot is off. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Now here's Dunn to the paint. Melton's shot is good. This is who you want leading that play. A sure passer with great awareness. Young dishes to Edwards. Hunter kicks to Young. Passes it to Edwards. And it's Melton with the rebound. And here's Melton. He'll bring it up for the Knights. It's a 16-point game. Dudley's shot is good. And, and really keeping the ball hopping around here offensively. Young passes to Edwards. Now, here's Hunter, guarded closer. Lock at six. Rebounded by Kansas City. Hudley's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Done, and he uses the glass on the way up. Dunn's got four points this quarter. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Atlanta calls timeout. Uh, let's see if Coach can get them back on the right track. Because right now, it feels like the pace is being dictated to them. They need to go back to playing their brand of basketball.
Clint Capella, he's checked in for Moody. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Hey guys, Lloyd Pierce talked with his team during that last time out. He said, I want us to play as though we're behind. We're good when we play with urgency. We're bad when we become complacent. Don't become complacent. Let's go. Hey guys. Thanks, David. Trying to finish out the game strong. You have to recognize who has the hot hand and get him the ball. Kevin Herter, he's checked in for Atlanta. Now, Okoro, done outside. Just five to shoot. Jacks up a three. Okoro shot is off. Young from outside. That one doesn't go. And Kansas City will go the other way with it. This is the guy who had three threes in the first half. Since then, still waiting on number four. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Capella. And that's just carelessness there. I mean, you have got to have your head in the game. And so Kansas City now, down by 12. Pass to Okoro, back to Dunn, and Hunter over to help. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. Greg, your son's been drafted. You were drafted in the NBA. As you look back on the process that you went through and your son Cole has gone through, uh, what are some of the flags? What are some of the things that stand out to you? First and foremost, Boy, how time flies. I mean, it wasn't that no long kidding. ago, at least no it feels kidding. like, that they were calling my ni name on draft night. But 91, you know, right? Yeah. 91. You know, every stage of life, though, has its joys. And listen, to play the game I love and now see him playing it at this level, it's truly a blessing. And in his case, he probably loves it even more. You know, he didn't grow up the way I did. He, he grew up just with a true love and passion for the game. So it's humbling and, and obviously something that I take great pride in. You were taken out of UNLV 1991, number 12 overall. Remember it like it was yesterday. Here's Collins. Chris Dunn making his last shot. Collins, good. And the Hawks lead by 14. No matter where he is on the floor, Collins seems to invite contact. Pass to Melton. And here is a Coro. Now the pass to Dunn. Kansas City needs to get off the shot. No good with the triple. Hasn't been able to dial it in from distance. He has just the one three, and that was in the first half. One of the best young lob men in the business, John Collins, finished with an explanation point. Here's Melton. Pass to Okoro. Misses off the left iron. He's kind of lost his way this period, having a hard time getting anything to go down. Outside Collins. Pass to Herter. Atlanta gets it back in a new 14. Capella with the bucket. And guys, when Capella's playing like this, it's an added bonus. Love seeing him catch fire. Kicks it to Dunn. Here's Melton. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. And once he gets clear off the screen, there is no stopping him. <laughs> no, not when there's a flush waiting to happen. That's a big-time move and a big-time finish. Here's Herter. Atlanta needs to get off a shot here. Hunter, and he drops in the layup off the glass. And the Hawks lead by 18. Awesome concentration there. When Hunter's committed to scoring, he's hard to stop. Now, here's Okoro. Defense right on him. Here's Dunn. Rebounded by the Hawks. Capella's got 14. Yep, 14 rebounds for him tonight. Wow. Hunter no good. Hunter's gone one of six shooting so far. Here's a Okoro. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That's his second first At the line for Kansas City, Isaac Okoro. At the line for two. Two shots. Yeah. 
That's good from Okoro. That misses, so he splits the free throws. The Hawks leading by 17. At the top of the key, Capella. And it's Melton with the rebound. And here's Melton. He'll bring it up for Kansas City. Out to the right wing. Young against Dunn. Pass to Okoro. He feeds it to Dudley. And the rejection by Collins. Right there, the length of Collins proving to be the difference. Not in my house, he says. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Well, John Collins has the potential to be a star for this team. Continues to be a powerhouse on the offensive end. He can tack from inside as well as outside. And, and Collins said so himself. He believes he'll be a max contract player when he hits free agency. Take a break. You know Take what, G.A.? I love Two the shots. confidence from him. And you look year to year, his numbers are improving at an unbelievable rate. He just might get that max contract. And that one misses. Good on the second free throw. Now, here's Dunn. Time called here. Kansas City decides to talk it over. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. And it boils down to the question. Toughness. One team showing it, the other allowing itself to be fully. And he's had the hot hand tonight, Kevin, no doubt about it. He's got his field goal percentage up over 60, and you're only going to get it that high when you're taking good, smart shots. On the road, in a tough atmosphere, he's taking on the role of star tonight. If one of their other players came up short, he picked up the slack to make sure they'll be walking out of here with a win. Chris Dunn! Two shots. The first free throw is good. We've seen real improvement from Chris Dunn at the free throw line. Used to be his Achilles heel. He hits both from the stripe. The Hawks leading by 16. Young passes to Capella. 157 left in the fourth quarter. Hunter dishes to Young. Shot clock at five. He will credit them for maintaining that aggression, even being up this much. They don't want to leave no chance for a comeback. Just focus on playing the right way. Now, here's Okoro. Inside, here's Melton. And it's John Collins with the rebound. Collins has got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. And, and guys, what we saw here tonight is one. Oh, oh wow! <laughs> Young fella. Dunk contest level jam. Collins looks like he's having fun out there. Greg, it's pretty typical for players of the past to talk about current players and say 
they may have struggled had they played when I played. What do you think of that line of thinking? You know, I I, I just don't agree with What's that. Up? And I think we all do that. We all feel like our era was the best. I had the same thoughts being passed my way when I first came into the league. I'm sure. The reality is these guys work just as hard as guys worked back in our era. They just have more understanding of what their value is. Uh, and in a lot of ways, they've got more courage to speak out because, you know, let's face it, they're more of a bullseye on their back in today's era with social media than we've ever seen before. That is true. Berea, the pass to Deadman. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. Collins kicks to Berea. Back to Collins. Rebounded by Kansas City. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Jackson passes to Biseknicks. The dish now to Brown. Here's Bates Diop. But they get it back. Biseknicks. Reddish grabs the rebound. And it's the Hawks ball. They're on a 16-7 run. Boudier dishes to Deadman. Back to Moutier, plenty of space, and it's good, two points. And yeah, they sucked the energy out of this arena. Tremendous effort on the road. And when you're on the road, you can't be tentative coming into a game like this. I thought their aggressive approach was the difference. And so Atlanta takes this one by a big margin. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. Now for Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA here on 2K Sports. We'll see you next time. Have a great